Good morning, welcome to Goa. Stay up last night in this old building, abandoned ruin. I can hear the sea. Be a bit careful up here, there's big holes in the roof. And today we're going to drive north. It's a lockdown. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to film the interaction at the border. We'll see how it goes with the police, customs, health check people. Can you see there's a couple of dogs down there? About 10, 15 dogs slept about, uh, I don't know, five, six, seven meters away from me in this building last night. They kicked off when I first arrived, barking, howling, but they stopped after a bit and then they started barking about their own things a couple of times in the night. Or maybe we had visitors in the night. I'm not sure, but they didn't bother me again. They got used to me, and then I realized, actually, with all these dogs in here, it's quite safe sleeping. It's not 100% safe. I managed to drive my bike right inside this building. Someone had built a little ramp up, uh, and I just drove right inside. So it's a monsoon time now. It's pouring with rain last night, half the night. Uh, but I was dry, I slept in that building. Uh, on my bike as well, <laughs> right beside my bike. This is the first time that I've ever been here at night and not heard music playing in the night. Usually techno music, which I'll be honest with you, I don't really like. Grandma's hand used to clap in church on Sunday. Grandma's hand picked me up each time I fall You say, Billy, don't you run so fast Might fall on a piece of glass Might be snakes there in the grass I don't think they like my singing Oh, grandma's hand What's your crack? Oh, this one's got a limp Hey dogs, what's up? It's about five or six hundred kilometers from here back to Mumbai. Drink chai, don't die. I've never been able to drive it in less than two days on a scooter. They've been working on that road the last couple of years. They've done well. It's better. But it's still dangerous. And it's still not perfect, <laughs> they've not finished the cast buyers, they've not finished the drains, there's huge drops either side of the road, uh, people drive, you know, so some of it's dual carriageway, two, two lanes on each side, but people drive in both directions, <laughs> on both sides of the carriageway, can you understand that? So there's four lanes. The first one, someone's going left, the next one, someone's going right, the next one, someone's going right, the next one, someone's going left. And the opposite of all that, people park on the carriageway, cows are on the carriageway, dogs are on the carriageway, people are on the carriageway, donkeys are on the carriageway, snakes are on the carriageway. Big rocks are on the carriageway. <laughs> Metal scaffold, fittings, logs. I almost drove right into the back of a cow last night. It was speckled. A speckled cow. It was like a, the, the cow was camouflaged. Yeah, so I, I put the brakes on us, we're around it. And this is what you have to do in India. Hey, dogs. Hello, 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 hello. These are feral dogs. You know, they look after themselves, and you see they're not entirely friendly with people. They're not entirely unfriendly either though.
This is cut out of the rock to catch water. I'm on the stairs to nowhere. Come up inside. See a lizard down there. A good spot for snakes. Okay, downstairs, upstairs, nowheres. I'm actually quite tired, I didn't sleep well last night. The rain woke me up a few times. It was a bit uncomfortable and cold. I've got no carry mat or blanket. I just slept in my, my motorcycle safety gear. And the dogs woke me up a couple of times barking. And I have to be honest, India's not totally safe. No, it is, but sleeping at night <laughs> sleeping at night outside somewhere you, you are taking a chance so that, that nervousness is hard to escape so I think may, maybe you don't sleep so deeply I like this place There's a flip side to that coin and the flip side is everyone else is scared to go to places like this at night. I think even creepy people are a bit scared to come here at night and this means this might actually be the place where you're not going to get into trouble uh, because yeah no one comes up here. It's too dodgy. <laughs> yeah, it's too dodgy. I'm the only one that stays here. No, other people sleep here. I've seen mats and look at that, I could have lit, I could have made a fire with that last night. I didn't see it when I drove in. It was dark when I got here. Oh my God, look at this. Rick and Morty have been here. This is the camp. Your dad and Carlin's podcast playing there. Okay, good morning. No problem. I'm at the like the police check at the border. Uh, I got my passport back, no problem. So we're in the middle of the coronavirus now. Oh. This is it. They're checking everyone come through here. Things are still rolling a little bit, but obviously it's slowed down. But that's good, I got my stuff back. I got the scooter, just got to get back to Mumbai. Okay, just share some breakfast with this one. What's up, boy? Do you like the biscuits? Did you? Good boy, good boy, yeah. Did you like the biscuits? 